Hello everyone. This is how my day starts generally. I sit with the plants for around 30 minutes daily. I've grown up with uh, plants and trees a lot during my younger days. A lot of happy and sad moments shared with them. And I want to do that again. I'm doing that again with a small terrace garden. Many of you are asking me why no vlogs. There's a particular reason for that. Uh, whenever I do it in a particular language, uh, some of the people come and say that you're not supposed to do only in this language. You're from a different state. So I've had enough of these kind of words. So I thought uh, I'll do multiple language audios, a feature which is available on YouTube. Unfortunately, it's not yet available to me. It has been released worldwide and it's going to create us one by one. So it will take some time. I've been waiting for this update for a long time. So once that is available, I'll be sharing more vlogs. In fact, I've recorded many vlogs but not shared it. And uh, that dubbing option gives me sharing videos in multiple languages. So it will be initially English, Tamil and Kannada. And I'm planning to increase it to six languages. Once I learn few more words in languages which I'm not comfortable at the moment. And the uh, reason why I'm not doing more English vlogs is I'm not comfortable when I'm speaking in English. I stammer a lot and my brain takes a lot of time to process the words. So there's a big break in between I need and that means I'll have to do a lot of editing which takes more time. Unfortunately, I'm not able to spend more time on editing now. If I have to do it, I'll have to sacrifice on my sleep and I've been doing it for the last month. I'm pretty sure you would have all seen more shorts and videos in the last one month rather than the last two years. So I want to do this as well because people want to see my videos. Even though the number is pretty small, I'm happy to entertain a small crowd who love the content which I put out. Today's video is about special locomotives. It will be a vlog of the same and the location where I go to capture it. The train which I am supposed to board is arriving on this platform. The announcement of the same. Time is almost 9. So my plan is to board this train. The same train continues to Mysuru from Bengaluru city. The same memo train. So I'll be going up to Srinankpatna. There's a reason why I'm going there. I'll talk about this in detail once I reach there. And I want to save as much energy as possible. There's another reason for that as well. I'll be talking about that too at Sri Rangpatana. where I wanted to frame Albert Twins. Today is 24th March. From the info I got, uh, Kurnoon to Gatwal. Electrification inspection is happening today. And uh, once that is completed successfully, the Kachigoda to Bengaluru line will be electrified. And uh, it's very much possible that these Alco Twins will be replaced by an electric link immediately. So I thought I'll come here and capture the frame which I wanted to do from a long time. Of course, the frame involves the bridge in the background. That is the easy part, to be honest, uh, capturing the train under the bridge frame. The difficult part comes after that. I'll have to board a train. Unfortunately, Sri Rangpatna has very few trains after the doubling project was completed. The platform length has reduced because of which uh, it will not be possible for all the trains to stop here and only trains around 16 to 18 coaches stop here. So I love to go to Pandavapura or Mysuru to board a train and Pandavapura being just 4 kilometers from this spot, I thought I'll walk from here and that will be the difficult thing today, uh, reason being the sun up above in the sky. It's a bit humid uh, but it doesn't feel too hot right now at the moment but then not sure how it will be the moment I start walking. So my plan is to capture some trains here till 3 and then move to the spot on the bridge, capture the Alco Twins which I'll start walking. Now it's time for some train spotting here and uh, in between I'll have to have my lunch as well. I got the lunch from the home itself, not sure uh, what we'll get here. It's been a long time since I visited uh, 
here. The last time I came here, it was just for the Vande Bharat and I returned immediately back. So I couldn't roam around and see what is available. And the station, of course, has changed a lot with doubling and electrification being completed. So time is 2.50, had a good rest, uh, sleeping on the bench and the station looks deserted. Uh, reason being the less amount of trains that stop here. After the 2 p.m. memo bound to Bangalore goes, the next train which stops here is the Chamraj Nagar passenger which comes around 5.30. Until then, there will be very less people on the station. I'm right now walking on the first meter gauge bridge which was built. There's another bridge next to these glitter bridges on the right side. It, in, it was initially a meter gauge bridge, then it was used for broad gauge trains as well. And during doubling, two new bridges were built, these glitter bridges. 1881 82. Gordon Viaduct. Gordon or Gordon? I'm not sure whether it is G or C. If you know the correct name too, let me know in the comments. And now I'm heading to the end of the bridge. There's a big problem coming ahead. A lot of smoke coming out, uh, probably from the farmland. It might make it difficult for me to get a proper video. Hopefully, by the time Kachiwada comes, it should clear off. The previous broad gauge bridge, which was there, it has been blocked so that no vehicles move around. Only the other bridge has vehicle movement. I have a lot of videos taken on this bridge on both the sides, both the north and south Kaveri River. Thankfully, it's not a metal bridge, so they have not dismantled it. Otherwise, all the metal parts would have been taken out for scrap. Now, I'll need to wait here for another 10 minutes before Kachigoda comes. And uh, yeah, I'll just enjoy the view here. I want to capture it in this frame, but the problem is the temperature at this place. It's 34 degrees right now, and there's a lot of heat waves. I don't think I'll get the authentic frame that I wanted, but then at least I'll get something. First 30 seconds, I thought the link had changed. It was P7 honking and uh, I was not able to hear any alcohongs. I don't know, maybe you all might have felt the same as well. I got the frame which I wanted, but then not the sounds. As you saw, P7 uh, sounds and the UOD sounds were more, and the train was Jaipur Mysore Express. I don't know, maybe if I get another chance in the sense if I'm free. And also the link stays. I'll try to come again. I'm happy that uh, I got a bit of smoking inside the bridge because I was just planning for the frame and not the smoke. And smoke was an added bonus. So I'm happy with that, uh, but not the sound part. And uh, now it's time for the most difficult part of this trip: the four kilometer walk to Pandopura. Walking four kilometers is not that difficult. The problem is the sun. It's too hot, and uh, I'm sweating a lot as well. Luckily, I have extra water bottles this time. I had come prepared. So, hopefully, it should keep me hydrated. And uh, time is 3.32 right now. 
hopefully by 4 30 i'll reach there and i believe my train is at 5 15 or something so i'll have some rest on the platform before boarding the train and not only that there's another diesel train coming would have been nice if i was able to capture it here but unfortunately i can't do that because if i do that i'll not be able to capture the tirupati express so i'll walk and i'll capture in between spot and one more good thing about this path is i mean i have a path to walk so it's easy to walk and i need not walk on the tracks and uh, i believe this path is there for almost three kilometers only one kilometer i'll have to walk on the track which is fine so this will also help me walk a bit quicker compared to what i can do it on the tracks sugar cane and uh, there's a small narrow road as well so i'm using that to walk right next to the tracks i'm not sure how many of you are the way i am i love actually seeing uh, these kind of places and, uh, we just crossed the first river crossing i believe there's one more after which uh, there's no path for around uh, kilometer i believe i'm not sure like, regarding the exact distance so we have walked around one kilometer now another three kilometers to go i'm dehydrating a lot uh, unexpected not sure why so I decided to take a small break here uh, there's only one shed available thanks to this coconut uh, tree so i'll be sitting here for some time once golgumbas goes i'll start because golgumbas is expected in another 10 minutes I feel much better now after taking a good rest and of course roaring EMD and uh, uh, looks like the gate is closing again it's almost time for Malgudi Express Malgudi Express with a P7 and LHP coach at the end, probably going to Ashokapuram workshop. These are corn, Indian corn I should say, not the sweet corn one. And uh, looking at them, they are not grown correctly this, se this season. They generally get quite tall and they give out uh, cops of around 3 to 4, but then I am able to see only one or two in the plant. So it's not a great growth this time. And some plants don't have even a single one only the male flowers are seen we have creeper family here not sure which exactly it is might be pumpkin i'm not sure though booked an express ticket to kingeri from there i'll take a direct bus to my place because kingeri to majestic that is ksr bengaluru generally takes 40 to 45 minutes and then i need to walk another 15 minutes to go to majestic and take a bus back home so i feel getting down at kingeri will be much easy for me to reach home and the bus stop is next to the station itself so it will not be a long walk We saw two trains, Maldudar Express and uh, Kodayar Express. It's not Tipu anymore. My mind always goes to Tipu. And a lot of birds, beautiful peacock as well. And a lot of colorful birds. I couldn't record everything, but then I've captured two. So you would have seen that in the video. Another kilometer to go. Time is 4.55. Scheduled departure time is 5.15. 20 minutes more. I can easily reach within that. Uh, but then the train is running late. By 20 minutes, so it is expected to come by 5.40. I'll probably end up at the edge of the platform, board some coach and take rest. I just hope I get a seat, feeling a bit exhausted as well. Need to walk a bit quick. I don't want to take chance because in case if I miss this, the next train is to the Kodi Express and it's at 6.45. Which means I'll reach home only by 10, 
I don't want to do that. I want to go early because tomorrow I have some commitments. So if I go early, I can take rest. I did some videos in the morning and uh, go for work. It's 14 at Pandavpur station. Just reached and checked on the status. The train has arrived in Mysuru at um, 4.58 according to NTES. And the train has turned up a local chain. So 20 minutes stop, minimum expected. And if you depart by 5.20, you'll come here by 5.40, 5.45. Reached Kengiri by 7.20 I had severe head pain when I got down Couldn't eat anything in between I was really hungry as well So I had some chats outside the station Now feeling better uh, Hopefully if I get a bus soon Within the next 10 minutes I will be home by 8.30 Which is really good because I can take bath Refresh myself then have my dinner and sleep Because tomorrow is an hectic day Professionally and some personal work as well So I need to Be fit and ready for that I'm happy that the train came in early. I was worried that it will reach only by 8. But then uh, the P4 had a good run. And we were not held up anywhere except for the caution orders near City early. So an excellent run to be honest. And I'm really happy that uh, I've reached Kengeri early. Now it's just a matter of time before I get a bus to head back home. Twenty six March, the information is out. Electrification inspection between Kernel and Gadwal has been completed, which means the Alco twins will be gone forever. I don't know if I'll get another chance. I did enjoy it uh, while it lasted. It was there for a month, more than a month, I believe. I made two journeys. One was a short one where I did no recording from Ramnagara to KSR Bengaluru. Other was the Mysore Bangalore section run, which I've shared it with you all. The end is near. I don't know, I'll try to capture a few more runs uh, if I get time and hopefully if the run continues at least for a week. Now uh, coming to this model, uh, I know many of you have a lot of questions on this. If you have a few more questions, do let me know in the comment section regarding this YD4 model. I'll be making a separate video for this one. And with that, uh, there'll be no vlogs until the new update comes out, the multiple audio tracks. Once that is out, I'll start making more vlogs and I'll also share the vlogs which are pending from long time. I'll dub but, uh, in multiple languages and, and then share it. If you want to look at how this Shreden Patna Pandapura line looked during single line these days, link is in the description below. Hope you all enjoyed this one. See you soon.